$427 on Mercari. Yeah, that homeschooling stuff can be a big money bolo. She called it a fat one. So maybe they're not all fat. <laughs> I don't know. One day, $148. That is awesome. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos. Items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. Um, in this video, I am going to share with you items that were shared by my members of my Facebook group, which looks like this, and members of my YouTube channel. And if you guys are interested in memberships, I do have that available for perks. You can check that out down below in the description. So if you hear me shout out a YouTube channel or an eBay store, that means they are a member of my YouTube channel at level two. Um, we're going to get started here. I'm going to tell you where they got the item, what they paid for it and what it sold for. And some of these bolos, oh my goodness, just incredible just incredible. So the first one says three recent great finds at the bins, $1.49 a pound. Ooh, wish mine was $1.49 a pound. Okay. So she paid $1.49 a pound at her Goodwill bins. She got this Ralph Lauren queen sheet right here. Looks like this. And it's got the teddy bears on it and it is vintage. And she sold this for $32 on best offer. Plus, uh, looks like the, I think the buyer paid shipping. The next item is a pair of Ralph Lauren um, porcelain tamarind standard pillow shams. Hmm. Maybe that's the print. And she sold these for $34.50 plus shipping. And the next item is this Derma Wand high frequency skincare beauty treatment, three products, and it's still sealed and it came from the bins. And that one she sold for $50 plus shipping. All right, let's move on to the next one. The next one comes from Bolo Buddies member Piece of Scrap, and this is her YouTube channel. Definitely go and sub her up. It says paid $3 at the Goodwill, accepted a best offer of $40 plus $12 shipping within one day of listing. So that is a super fast sale. And she said, I did not count the pieces. So, um, a little scary. Uh, she got this white mountain puzzle. It says bingo, 1000 piece jigsaw. Oh, I would be so nervous shipping that without counting the pieces, but she took a best offer of 40. I'm sure that she disclosed it, but, um, I don't know. I can't see the listing. So, do you guys count the pieces? Do you put the puzzle together? What do you guys do when you have puzzles? I just don't buy them unless they're sealed. Okay, so the only way I would buy a puzzle is if it is like a crazy big money puzzle that's like one of those wood ones or those crazy ones that go for big money. Then, then I would put it together. I'd make myself. If it was like a thousand dollar puzzle, yes. Thank you very much. I would do it. Okay, this one comes from um, got junk in our trunk and she is a moderator of the Facebook group. So show her some love with a sub and tell her thank you in the comments of one of her video for helping keep this uh, Facebook group in line. It is over, I think we're getting almost ready to hit 85,000 members in the Facebook group. Crazy. Um, purchased in an estate clean out, resurfaced during a recent self-imposed six month thrifting ban as she focused on reorganizing and listing her huge money pile. Sold in 24 hours of best offer for 45 plus shipping. She had pennies in it. So Rhonda is currently like, man, she's going to town with cleaning out storage units, reorganizing everything. She's on a thrift ban and she is sticking to it. She is doing incredible. Definitely check out her YouTube channel, Got Junk in Our Trunk. So she sold this. Oh my goodness, I just talked about this brand the other day when I did a Easter bolo video. So that should be coming soon, if not already posted. But this brand, uh, Rosin or Rosen Rossbro, also makes Easter items. And this is a Christmas hard plastic blue-green saw tool Christmas tree 
It's a Santa. And this is what it looks like. So keep an eye out for that brand because it is definitely a bolo for both Easter and Christmas, it looks like. All right. The next item comes from The Quiet Thrifter. And she is a bolo finder. And her eBay store is linked down below. She does not have a YouTube channel. She said, I bought these three vintage mermaids at a thrift store for $8.50. After a bit of research, I listed them at a buy it now of $165. They sold in about a day for a best offer of $148. One day, $148. That is awesome. Buyer paid shipping and left positive feedback. And this is what they look like. They are so cute. Um, these are really, really, really popular. A lot of times people will put these in their bathrooms and just very, very cool. All right. This one comes from Yard Sales and Dreams, and she does have a YouTube channel, but no Facebook, so I posted it for her. She made this nice little screenshot that you're going to see right here, and it says, paid a dollar at a roadside junk sale, literally a diamond in the rough. She paid a buck for it. Sold for $125 on eBay off after accepting a best offer. It is a vintage Tiffany & Company T-clip pen and pencil set of two, Wadesworth Company engraved. One dollar for Tiffany and Company. Say what? Wow. Here's our next one. Uh, paid 50 cents at a garage sale. Sold on eBay for a hundred dollars after accepting a best offer. Vintage Bavarians Select Beer, Black Light Sign, Poster Brewing Neon Unmounted. And again, she's got that nice little uh, uh photo for us. Love it. She made my job very easy. The next one paid $75 at an indoor moving sale. So she paid up for this one, but she sold it for $450 on best offer. American Indian Litho. Wait, is it Litho or Litho? Litho? Litho. I think it's Litho print. Oh, Triptych J. Knowles hair antique wood frame 33 by 16. And this is what it looks like. Not necessarily my biggest sale, but my favorite because I DIY did them myself and just think it's really cool. Someone is going to be wearing them. Closest I'll probably ever come to be being a designer. Found these cola K-O-O-L-A-B-U-R-R-A. -R -R -A. Ugg boots for free. So they must be a type of Ugg boot. Hmm. They looked brand new except for a big oil spot on the front of one boot. Couldn't remove it. So I decided to glitter paint and Mod Podge rhinestone bling them and cover it. <laughs> they turned out pretty cool and sold for almost a hundred dollars. <laughs> that is awesome. And it looks like they sold on Mercari. I so want a close up of these. Like I really do. They look great in the photo, but, um, oh, it looks like, um, oh, she does. She does. She does. She has a before and an after. I love it. I love it. That is fantastic. And this was my best sale of the month. Also found these for free. Someone had dumped them on the curb with a bunch of sneakers and clothes that I also sold. I had no clue that these were thought. I had no clue what these were, but thought they were just old church kids books. And I actually threw one of them in the bin before I luckily realized it was a big set and looked it up. Had no clue how to price it. It was hard to find comps and I had a mix of different sets. I think I could have held out or maybe double what I got because the DV set alone sells for about what I sold the whole lot for, but they sold in two days. Buyer got a nice deal and it was an amazing profit. So I was happy. Media mail shipping was less than 10. Oh my goodness. It's a Becca homeschool lot, grade five, CD, DVD books, independent study test, 32 piece and Bible. $427 on Mercari. Yeah, that homeschooling stuff can be a big money bolo for sure. Found these at the Goodwill bins for $1.59 a pound. So cost was about $3. Took a few months to sell, but took a best offer of $250 and received positive feedback. Could not believe these were at the bins and still in the original box. And they are Nike NYX Dunk Low Premium Van Ham. <laughs> Stay tuned for bloopers. 
bought this Native American pottery canteen at the Goodwill for a dollar, listed it on auction for 30 and sold it for $88 in a week. And this is what it looks like. The sticker album was given to me in the 90s, so no cost, sold for $37. This one comes from Decamper's Great Finds, and this is her eBay store. So it is just a mixed lot of vintage stickers. It looks like Stickopotamus, Glitter, Rainbow, Binder, and Assorted Stickers. Yes, stickers can definitely be a bolo. This also comes from Decamper's Great Finds. I had this Victorian candy box since the 1970s. It had flaws, but still sold for $105.26 to someone with, a, with the candy company's last name. And this is what it looks like. All right, this one is crazy. When I tell you it's crazy, this bolo is crazy. Are you ready? I picked this in a local Goodwill a number of years ago and it ended up in a huge death pile. I like to call it a money pile because he called it a death pile, but he listed it. So no, it's not a death pile. It's a money pile. Are you ready for this? I'm stalling because this is just so fantastic. So it was in his garage and it was never listed. While sorting some things in my garage, I stumbled across it a bit over a week ago. I pulled it and it finally listed it and it sold for my full asking price. No best offer was ever sent, but it did have six watchers. It sold in just eight days for full asking price of $999.95. <laughs> Can you believe it? Can you believe it? It's just incredible. And I think I saw later in a post that they got positive feedback. 16 inch Hasbro Fat Pikachu plush purchased at Unique Thrift for $6. Sold in three days on eBay for $175 and the buyer paid shipping. I'm shocked. I think I could have gotten more for it. That's incredible. Wonder what makes that one so special. If anybody knows, let me know down in the comments. It, it's a 16 inch. Um, she called it a fat one. So maybe they're not all fat. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why it's unique. I don't know. Okay. Picked up a bundle of books and tapes at a yard sale. So pennies in this took a best offer of 32 because the lower offers were getting old after about 15 offers, all between 10 and $20. Definitely a look up everything moment. This is Mazzy, Mazzy Star. So tonight that I might see cassette tape from 1993, sold for $44.95. Oh, nope, I'm sorry. She took a best offer of 32. Originally had it listed for $44.95, but she turned down a bunch of offers between 10 and 20. So it was good that she held out. Sometimes it's good. And if you're getting multiple offers on an item, you know it's good. So just be patient for sure. That is a good tip. Got this for free off Facebook. I have a few more. Sadly, this one was broken, as is another. But free into $50 is always a win. And it goes back to showing you that if something is different, rare, unique, hard to find, and it's broken, and you can fix it and make it look good, it can still sell for big money. This is a vintage Japan Norcrest left in ceramic mermaid, boy on starfish, and it's broken, and it's still sold for $51 plus shipping. This one comes from YouTube channel and eBay store, Mac Pack Reselling, and she is a Bola Buddies member. She has a newer YouTube channel, so go down there and sub her up. Um, she said, had this in my money pile after I bought it years ago for $10 on a Black Friday. Decided to finally list it and sold within two months for a best offer of $100. It's a brand new Strawberry Shortcake Beach Blast collection. And this is what it looks like. It's a Toys R Us exclusive collectible. I wonder if she bought it at the Toys R Us going out of business sale. It says Black Friday. I know that when Toys R Us went out of business, I went and I shopped like crazy and I got a ton of stuff at like 80 and 90% off and everybody was listing that stuff at the same time. Uh, I wish now that I would have just waited a year and then listed everything. <laughs> I probably would have gotten more for stuff, but I'm pretty much sold out of it. I did pretty well. It was definitely a, uh, a good move, but I think I could have gotten more if I would have been patient. Okay, this one comes from Abigail's Artful Abode. That is her YouTube channel, and this is what it looks like. She said, oh my goodness, while in Mexico, I love to hit up the thrift stores in an area that has a lot of 
expats from the U.S. and Canada. On my first day walking into a thrift store, an employee was bringing this out to display it. Oh, I didn't wait five seconds in telling her I wanted it. I recognized it immediately. So I thought I listed it high at $499, but it wasn't even listed a week. And I got a message on Tuesday from someone in New York that wanted it by Friday. I figured it was a looky loo and went about my business. She messaged me again Wednesday and I still felt like it was probably just a wishful thought on her end considering that Friday was fast approaching. Imagine my surprise on my way to work at my store on seeing it sold and paid for on eBay. I had to get off at the, the next exit, drive to my storage unit to grab it, four FedEx stops, many miles, and too much time later, I finally found an official FedEx office that could guarantee the delivery, and it's due in New York by tomorrow at noon. Whew, I had to really work for that sale, but it was worth it. P.S. She paid the FedEx fee of $115. She said she paid $7.50 for this and sold it for $499. And this is what it looks like. It is an Australian. Okay, so here's the big debate. I always said Kooji and everybody was saying I was saying it wrong and said it was Kooji. And I'm like, there's no way it's Kooji. So I looked it up on like Google pronounce it for me. And I even put it in a video of Google doing it. And it said, Kooji, Kooji. And I'm like, okay, it's Kooji, whatever, I'm wrong. So now I say Kooji and everybody's telling me I'm saying it wrong that it's Kooji. I'm like, what? I cannot win with this word. I think Kooji sounds better. But I'm just going to call it the Kooji Kugi sweater. And then everybody, like I said it right for at least everyone. Because it's either one way or the other. So it's just right. I just did it right. So you let me know down in the comments, how do you say it? Do you say Kugi or Kooji? Anyway, who cares? It's a big money bolo. $499 plus shipping. Incredible. Okay. Found this on my second trip ever to the Goodwill bin. Sold in one day to a buyer in Canada through eBay's global shipping program. My cost was about 80 cents. It is a vintage 1967 10-inch ideal newborn Thumbelina doll with pull string. Uh, made in Japan and working. And this sold for $99.99 plus shipping. All right, you guys. We are going to stop there. Thank you all so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments which item was your favorite. Have you sold any of these items? And how do you say Kugi or Kuji? <laughs> Doesn't really matter, right? It's just an amazing bolo. And there's going to be some videos popping up here and here and a subscribe and a video down below. I'd love for you guys to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Thank you again and leave me a, an emoji of an owl or write the word hoot. Thanks for watching. Ellen, uh, and they've been, I can't say that word. I thought I got it right. It's authenticity or authenticity. Oh, they've been authenticated. <laughs> can't do it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Just look at it. <laughs> oh, authenticity guaranteed. And it, it's got the little blue circle. <laughs>